In the previous video, we looked at how to draw the box diagrams for carbon in its ground state, again the central atom of methane, carbon in its excited state, where we promote an electron from S to P, and then finally its hybridized state, where we have um, four equivalent orbitals. Um, what I'd like to do now is take a look at those four orbitals. So let's move this up and you can see that I took my original S and my PX, my PY, and my PZ on those three-dimensional axes and then when we hybridize we end up with four um, equivalent sp3 orbitals. When they're all drawn together it's going to look like this. Um, what I would like to do though is um, I would like to draw this because that's what you're going to have to do is draw it. So I'm going to move this out of the way just so that we can draw it. And because you're not going to take the test with a computer program that has a nice drawing capability. So let's make some space here and then we're going to draw. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to use a straight edge and I'm going to draw a line straight down like that. And then I'm going to, in the middle, that's where my carbon's going to go. So I'm going to put the carbon right there. Now coming out of the carbon at angles that I'm going to try to make pretty equal, I'm going to draw my other lines. Again, remember, you should remember this shape is going to be a tetrahedral shape. In fact, it's very important that we note the shape. Okay. So now I'm going to put my three sp3 orbitals that you see up here, or four of them, four sp3 orbitals, and I'm only going to show that larger lobe coming out of the carbon. So let's just um, try to make them as equal as possible. And if you worry about the lobes getting in the way of each other, if you move them a little bit away from the carbon, they won't get tangled up. So I'm moving these down a little bit. Okay, so those are the four sp3 lobes for carbon. And I'm going to now put my electrons in here that we're going to share. One of these electrons is from carbon. The other one is going to be from the hydrogens that come in. Okay, now um, the hydrogen, let's look at hydrogen. Hydrogen is just 1s, so hydrogen has one electron, it's 1s, so it's not like the p orbitals we drew earlier. So hydrogen's going to come in, and it's probably going to be a lot smaller than that because it's a tiny little element. So I'm just going to draw my three hyd uh, 1s hydrogens, and then I'm going to label those. I'm going to zoom in a little so I have space to draw. And so this is going to be sp3. Here we have sp3, sp3, sp3. It's a little crowded. This is going to be my hydrogen that's 1s, this is 1s, this is 1s, and this is 1s. Then I need to include my hydrogens. So I'm going to have a hydrogen here, here, here. I'm writing the hydrogen to outside because it's going to be awfully crowded, so that's why we're doing it that way. So this is the And when we zoom back out, it looks much more clear. So this is the tetrahedral shape 
of methane and we need to mark that all angles are 109.5 degrees and that's methane.